Welcome back. We are doing, as usual, a Monday hit class, but this is a little bit different because we are talking about a brand new feature. Now, this is a new feature that you may have seen in your Timely account in the setup page recently, but maybe didn't know what it is. Maybe you haven't even seen it yet, but we are talking about Timely Consult. Timely Consult is a way that you can build your consultations within Timely. And you know what that means? It means if you are an Android user like me, you can easily build your own consult forms from within your Timely account and send them to your clients before their appointment. So that means that you can use Timely Consult on any, yes, any device. So it's pretty major. Now, Lou and I are going to give you a bit of a demo today. So the first thing that Lou and I are going to show you is a little bit of a video of how it all works. So we're gonna show you how you can make your forms. We have a bunch of industry templates that you can use as well. So you can start off with the industry templates, particularly if unlike, you know, ourselves, who are obviously consultation um, masters, <laughs> maybe you need a little bit of help, that's all good. I did too. So our templates in there are fantastic. They are full of industry standard questions, which you can use and, and you and build your own or if you're a complete master at this like ourselves then you can make your own from scratch and i'm going to talk you through turning your paper forms into a online consult that you can send to your customers before their appointments nice. now without further ado i'm going to pass on to the lovely lou who is going to take you through how it all works and timely and believe me it is both quick and amazing and super easy Yes. All right. Awesome. So welcome along, everyone. It is great to be here for another hit class. Now, as Alex said, the very first thing that I'm going to take through you through is how to actually create um, or edit a consultation form. So very, very shortly, I'll take you through that demo of how you're going to do that in Timely. And now some of you may be used to using the app that we have, the consult app. But what we're going to show you, the demo we're showing you, is actually how to do this on your computer. So this is the same process that you will have on an Android phone as well. So for those of you that have been waiting and waiting to be able to do this on any device, it is now here. And I'm sure you may have caught up with us at our product party. Um, we have had a few bits and pieces where we've talked about this, but we're, we're really just so excited that it's now available to absolutely everyone. I so say, Lou, before you get into it, Consult on Android or Consult on the computer has been Timely's number one request ever yeah. since we brought out Consult. So we know how many people have been asking for this. And yes, it is amazing. So Lou, take us through the demo. Awesome. All right. So what we're going to talk about is first off, uh, there's the option of creating your own. Now, basically the main difference here, and we'll just pause before we just go straight into it. The main difference between creating your own or editing one is that you've got that blank canvas. So if you're creating your own, you can put in all your different types of questions, which, you know, you've got all sorts of things. It might be a checkbox types of uh, type of question. It might be where you'd like your clients to choose from a list of options that you've set up. Maybe you'd like them to put in a specific date, um, adding an image that you will then go and draw on or that they may draw on. So it might be, you know, the treatment area that you're working on. You can do things like uploading um, long answer questions, short answer questions. Maybe it's that you'd like them to give you a um, signature in this consultation form. So there's all sorts of different types of questions that you can ask them. Now, when we are editing a form, you still have all of these options, but you're just starting from something that's already there as a base. So this is what we'll run through. All right, so we are in our Timely account. The very first thing we're going to do is we are going to go up to that tab up the top called Setup. Now, from there, you're going to select Library under Consult. Once I've selected that, it's going to open up my template library. So this is your consultation form templates. Now, these are the expert made templates and there is one for everyone for a range of different industries. Now, you can either go ahead and use it just like this or you can go and, you know, adjust it slightly to turn it into your own. Now, you'll see we've just jumped across up the top to the tab that says custom. Now, if you already have created your own forms, let's say on the consult app, now those will be showing up in this custom tab. 
So industry is for the pre-made templates that we have provided and custom is where your personalized templates will show up. So both those that have been edited from existing industry templates or those that you've created from scratch. So that's where your personalized templates will live. Now you'll notice that you've got the purple button up the top there for new templates. And that is where you go if you're starting from scratch. However, for this demo, I'm going to take you through how to edit one. So we're gonna pop back into the industry templates and we're going to work on the COVID-19 health agreement. So I'm going to open that up. And the very first thing you'll see here is the layout that we have set up in this template. So you've got, you know, first name, email address, um, you've got mobile number, physical address, things like this. And what you'll see is on the right hand side, I've got my panel of question types. So there's all sorts of things in here, like I was just mentioning before, you know, it might be that you'd like your clients to draw on an image. Maybe it's just getting, grabbing their signature with a short question above. Um, so what we're going to have a look at here is if we click along, awesome. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename our consultation. So this one was called health agreement as a generic health agreement. We're going to call it salon health agreement for COVID-19 screening. Now this is important because this is, the work, this is the naming that you will see when you go to send this to your clients. Awesome, we're gonna pop in a little description there as well. We saved that one. So that's renamed our template. And then we're going to let, take a look at these questions we've got on the right hand side. So you've got standard and you've got client details. Now client details, these are the types of questions that will sync through to your client's account in timely. So these are the ones that you don't have to do any sort of like double entry once those consultations come back. Some of those fields will be automatically populated, which is so extremely helpful. Awesome, so you've got a range of different things here now. I'm gonna add in a date of birth to this um, consultation. I've popped it in, second question there, but I actually wanna also reshuffle so I can prioritize which questions are coming first and last in this consultation form. So I've just brought up today's date up to the top of that form. So just beneath the name is the second question. Once I'm happy with this, I'm just gonna check a few more things. We can also edit these existing ones we have. So this was one of the ones that is, we have got a list of options that your client will see and they can select any that are relevant to them. So I'm going to add in another option, which is sneezing. We've added in sneezing. Have, have you experienced any of the following symptoms within the last 14 days? Once I've added that in, I'm going to save that one there and that will now update that on my form that I'm editing. Perfect. Cool, so it is looking good. I'm pretty happy with this. Now I'm going to go up and save this form and what we'll see is it's showing up for us in our custom forms and our custom templates. Cool, so I'm happy with that. Now, very next thing we're going to look at is how you can actually send this to a client pre-appointment. So we're jumping straight into the calendar. Now you can go up to your Timely's handy sidebar and you've got that small little arrow where you can expand or minimize that bar. And I'm just going to type in my client's name. So I can do it this way or I can go to their profile as well from my customer tab up the top. I'm typing in Penelope Clearwater. And what I'll see when, as soon as I click her name is I've got the option to send a consultation. So this is just a nice, quick, easy access way to do it. So I can click on the calendar appointment, click her name, click send consultation or do the search. It's taken me straight into my client's profile now where I've got the option to send consultation. So from there, I choose whether I would like it to be a text or an email. And then I'm going to select from that little drop down box there, which form I'm sending. Cool, so we've got all of my forms that we have created and I've got my salon health agreement one I just made. I click send and that is going to arrive in my client's text messages in a minute or so. So that is as easy as that to be sending your consultations pre-appointment to your clients and helping reduce the risk of you know those bugs and germs and so on and reducing the risk of COVID ultimately coming into your salon so that you can preempt what sort of conditions people are in before they arrive. So super, super easy to use. 
um, yeah, that is that is it. Now, if you do have questions, pop them into um, the thread of this live and we will answer them as well after this. Now, Alex is going to run us through how to actually recreate a paper form in consult. Amazing. That was such a good demo. I love the way how you explain things. Oh, God. Now, I'm going to do my best at explaining how you can turn your paper form into a consult form on Timely because you just might think, oh, I can just move my form. Well, yes, you could. However, you have to kind of think. So this is being sent to your client maybe before an appointment. So I'm thinking, I'm not going to be able to send them the 10 pages that they usually do with me in person. I need to cut this down. I need to just work out what really needs to be in here. The reason that is, is because if your client gets sent a 10 page form, they're going to get a little bit bored while they're filling it out and they might, may not fill it out correctly. Now, clients already do this in the salon. They'll get bored of filling something out and then all of a sudden their answers get less and less the further you go through the forms because they've just got tired of filling it out. So mm -hmm. think about what needs to go in that form. Now, another thing that you might want to do, and this is a really cool thing that you can do with the drawing question, which you can drag into your form, is you can set it up so that there's a picture of a template, maybe like a blank face or a blank body that your client can draw on, you know, what, uh, what they're wanting done or where it hurts, maybe their shoulder. And we actually have images that you can already use. So if you jump into our help guides, or Lou might um, post a link in the comments. Yes, um, I will. It's all, okay, so she's posting it in the comments of the slide, but I'll make sure that it's easy to find as well. We have some templates that you can use very easily, very, very, very easily, should I say, and just put them in, just download them um, from the help guide. Now, I believe the help guide is called images that you can use in your consult, but um, Lou's got it in there. So download these images and upload them while you're making the form. And this just means that your clients have something that they can draw on, which is fantastic. And believe me, there's not a huge amount of amazing ones online. These ones are really cool, timely created them and you can use them. So that's something that you want to think about. Another thing is, don't make your clients think. Your clients will fill out these forms so much better if it's quick. And one of the ways that you can make it quick is having as many multi-choice questions as possible. If you've got long answer for everything, and some, some questions, you know, they may need to have a long spiel for it. But for questions where you might need to know about um, medication, pregnancy, breastfeeding, um, anything like holidays, you know, anything that you need to know that they can tick a box from, um, make sure that you've got tick boxes for that because it just means that they're more likely to give you all the information that you're going to need. Now, our last tip, our very last tip is to look at your forms in the future. Okay, so don't just think I've got my form, it's done, it's perfect, mm -hmm. it's good forever. Reevaluate re your forms every so often because there may be some questions that you find aren't so necessary in the future. There may be things that you want to add. Don't just do kind of like a one and done. Have a look every few months, particularly if you're noticing that your clients aren't filling them out correctly. Maybe there's some things that you need to look over. And it's always good to show your friends and family, is this... How does this look to you? Get another pair of eyes on it and just make sure um, that it's easy to read because remember you want to make it as easy as you possibly can. And those are, I believe those are my top tips. Anything to add, Lou? No, that was amazing. I think that's such a good one to finish on. That it's once you have completed that, actually have a look at how, how satisfied are you with the responses you're getting? Because you can always go in and make adjustments to those. And I think that that is such a key thing to do here. Continue to improve them once you have a bit of knowledge around how they're actually landing with people. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. So that link that Alex was just talking about is in the comments there on Facebook. So feel free to jump in and take a look at those images that you can use in your consultation forms. And that's a wrap. That's our 15 minute hit class. So thanks so much, everyone.